in this video i'm going to show you the difference between the source monitor and the timeline monitor and how you can use that in your project once i make changes to the inspector i decide not to use the inspector tab i can just click on it and then it goes away but once it goes it gives me the source monitor and the timeline monitor any clip that i put in my timeline when i play it is going to be shown in this timeline monitor with the source monitor any clip that i want to preview before i put into my timeline is going to be shown in here so when i double click on this clip and then i play this it's going to show the preview of the clip in the source monitor before i can even import it into my timeline i can also use i to set my in points and then use o to set my out point so if i should click and drag this in here it's only going to give me this portion of the clip in my timeline the same applies to this if i only want the video of this clip all i have to do is to come down here and click hold and drag it onto the timeline so if i want the audio i can also do the same by also clicking and gives me only the audio part if i only want the timeline monitor all i can do is to click on this icon in here and it's only going to give me the timeline monitor if i have to do any preview from the media pool before i add it into my timeline all i have to do is to come in here double click and it's going to replace the timeline monitor with the source monitor so now i can also set my in points and out points in here and then i can also drag it onto my timeline and once i drag it onto my timeline it's going to switch back to the timeline monitor for you to see what's happening in your timeline that's it for knowing about the source monitor and the timeline monitor and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this there's going to be a playlist just at the top right corner here and you can check that out to other davinci resolve tutorials and don't forget to keep creating and yeah medasi for watching